you insist that rap is poetry. And you wrote, Chuck D famously called hip-hop the CNN of the ghetto. Does hip-hop and rap have a responsibility to report and not just entertain, to take it one step further? Yes, of course. You know, you can't entertain. It's everything. It's rap. It's, you know, it's entertaining. It's informative. It's provocative. It's funny. It's silly. You know, it's all of these things. So absolutely. You can't have balance. You can't have one without the other. Life has to be, life has balance. You can't have one without the other. So what's that responsibility now when the genre, the music has come under criticism for its lyrics, for its message? What's the responsibility now? Because you, you have said hip-hop is missing that emotion that it used to have. Yeah. I, I, the responsibility is to keep pushing it forward, to not rely on the old gimmicks and old tricks, the things that the shock, you know, in the beginning it was all shock. Oh, they cursed on the record. <laughs> Imagine that. It, it was just that. <laughs> You know, yeah, it was just that. Now it has a responsibility to push it forward, to tell deeper stories with deeper meaning and to entertain and not to rely on the same gimmicks. And, and if that person is doing this sort of music, you do this sort of music. You know, give variety, um, not to make it stale. Uh, you know, to give deeper meaning into what we're saying. Mm. You embody a business mogul, if, if there ever was one, whether it's the NBA, 4040, um, brands around the globe, your own production company and label. Um, what's your advice to other people coming up who are trying to make it and trying to become moguls in and of their own right? What, what's your advice to them? Uh, my advice is to do things that are true to you. You know, uh, you know. Most things that I'm involved with are extension of being creative. You know, Rockaway is a clothing company. You know, it's part of who you are. And hip hop is your attitude and what you're trying to exp exp express. How you dress. Um, so, you know, I loved sports growing up. I grew up in a in a household where sports was on 24, you know, seven. Mm -hmm. So these all things that are you know are comfortable for me. You know, these are things that I like. So I would just say get involved in things that you love and also have, you know, have a standard for yourself and have some sort of integrity and try to, you know, find some sort of truth in what you're doing. What did you learn on the street? Because you talk about being 13 and selling crack. Did that teach you something of how to be a successful businessman or how we all yeah, are, yeah, are all common? The things, all the things that you apply in business, you know, you know, they say that he has great instincts, you know, but well on the streets, having great instincts can be the difference between life and death, not just losing the deal. Or incarceration. You know, yeah, or incarceration, you know, which is less than death, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And it's, uh, which is, um, and having, being a person of high integrity, you know, people want to deal with you, hmm. you know, in business, in, in the trust. streets. You know, trust and honorable and, you know, a man of your word, you know, you know. All these things come to play in business world. I'm not condoning uh, anything, any street uh, activity, but it's just, it's just the way it is. You are associated with a number of brands, HP, Coca-Cola, Budweiser. How do you decide who you want your name, your brand, your voice um, tied to and, and, and what companies you don't? Um, I try to... I try to Sometimes it's, it's, it's just more about relationships. I, I, I pretty much try to work with brands if, we, if there's some sort of partnership there. Uh, no, I don't typically do a one-off endorsement deals. I, right. I, I've just never been interested in that. It's just more so if I can create some sort of partnership. You know, the Coca-Cola um, was, was a partnership. You know, I was a brand manager, as, you know, acted as, at one time. Um, so I, I pretty much look for partners, you know, as opposed to one-off endorsement deals. Well, yeah, it seems like you insist on uh, some creative control, that you're not willing to just give the Jay-Z brand out or let people buy it from you. Yeah, it, for me, it's my life. It's who I am as a person. So I can't just let someone uh, have creative control of who I am.